हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर शुभ अरोड़ा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कॉमर्स फ्रॉम जिम्स ग्रेटर नोएडा आई वंस अगेन वेलकम यू ऑल बैक टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट मार्केटिंग मैनेजमेंट करंटली वी आर ऑन द फोर्थ यूनिट एंड टुडे इज द थर्ड लेक्चर फॉर इट टुडेज टॉपिक्स विच विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन टूडेज लेक्चर आर दैट इज आई एम सी इंटीग्रेटेड मार्केटिंग कम्युनिकेशन एंड वील बी ऑल्सो डिस्कसिंग अबाउट पुश एंड पर्ल स्ट्रैटेजी इन माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर दैट इज लेक्चर टू इन विच वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट एडा मॉडल आई गेव यू एन ओवर व्यू ऑफ पुश एंड पुल स्ट्रैटेजी टूडे वील बी डिस्कसिंग दीज टू स्ट्रैटेजीज इन डिटेल लेट्स फर्स्ट टॉक अबाउट वॉट ऑल इज इंक्लूडेड इट इन इन इंटीग्रेटेड मार्केटिंग कम्युनिकेशन मार्केटिंग कम्युनिकेशन मिक्स इंक्लूड्स डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स लाइक एडवर्टीजमेंट सेल्स प्रमोशन इवेंट्स एंड एक्सपीरियंसिस पी आर एंड पब्लिसिटी डायरेक्ट मार्केटिंग इंटरेक्टिव मार्केटिंग पर्सनल सेलिंग एक्सेट्रा नाउ वैन वी कम टू डिफाइन आई एम सी दैट इज इंटीग्रेटेड मार्केटिंग कम्युनिकेशन इट बेसिकली इंक्लूड्स अ ब्लेंड ऑफ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट प्रमोशनल टूल्स एंड कम्युनिकेशंस which are used in marketing and advertising products and services so basically the promotional tools which are used for promoting the different different products and services and the techniques which are used for promotion and why all these promotional tools and techniques are used why this communication is done by an organization just to promote the product increase the sales and maximize the profits so imc is ultimately achieved through concise and cons consistent messaging that fosters the familiarity and consumer attraction all the elements which are included in integrated marketing communication are focusing on how to grab the attention of the customers how to arise the desire in the customers so that the customer gets attracted towards the ads different different promotional tools you are using right and after the customer gets attracted the customer will come will hit your product and service and will take an action of buying it when the customer will buy the customer will spend money when the sale so this purchasing will enhance will, re will result in enhanced sales for the organization and increased or enhanced sales will result in increased profits so all this is which is uh, which goes on in the process of imc that is integrated marketing communication if the imc messages are effective and in the images used in imc are meaningful then it will be very useful for the consumers and the messaging and branding consistency will be proved to be effective and efficient because these will yield loyalty and satisfaction of the customers to the organization now uh, imc communication uh, goes a long way in created in create it helps in creating brand awareness among the customers at a minimal cost so diff five different reasons why a marketer it needs or requires integrated marketing communication strategy the very first reason is to deliver a consistent message to the consumer that is different different promotional tools in, used in imc by a marketer helps the marketer to achieve and deliver a message through different different channels and the message should be same should be consistent right second is to build the brand's image not only the message which you are giving should be same but the elements of your brand will also line up more seamlessly when an organization style guides uses different logos headers content and voice all these elements work equally and will result in maximizing the impact and carving out the lane without your niche within the niche or industry right in which you are doing the business third reason is to generate cost savings a well oiled strategy will always help the business to save money in different different areas 
having a single message helps the organization to conserve resources and reduce waste so an organization should not be creating or modifying the message every time the organization is communicated with the is communicating with the customers reduce time spent creating and instead instead maximize your marketing budget by circulating so they are saying that time spent should be reduced and marketing budget should be increased for circulating the message or communicating into the market with the customers this should be increased by the organization now we come to the fourth reason that is to create a consumer experience in a digital world people are not just looking for their next new favorite product or service right customers want an immersive experience that means whatever they are buying as a customer they want to experience it fabulously that means their experience should be good either in terms of delivery either in terms of price right so customers might not want a direct mail or a tv ad campaigns right but with the help of imc strategy consumers help to determine how your business message is getting delivered to them producing better results for the organization and the fifth reason is to focus on results not only imc reinforces the same message in the minds of the customers but it also helps to keep the message and the objective very transparent and very crystal clear within your organization so when all the parties are working hand in hand right then that is when you will be able to create truly impactful and convincing campaigns and the better you are able to communicate the message effectively and efficiently to your customers both internally and externally the greater the returns the organization will be benefited with now this was about the imc and its factors the different different reasons now we'll come to the two strategies about these two strategies we discussed in our previous class also pull and push strategy when we talk about push strategy here the push is being done or given from the manufacturers and the product is being pushed into the market so that towards the so that the product reaches the uh, consumers and right so how is the manufacturer or the producer trying to push the product into the market by using different different promotional tools by uh, making different different promotional activities right with the help of different different marketing intermediaries who are in between the producer and the customer right so when different promotional tools or activities are being done when the producer is spending uh, money or funds in promoting the product with the help of intermediaries the demand will be created and the when when this product is being pushed the demand is there definitely the consumer will buy on the contrary when we talk about the pull strategy it is just the opposite here the end user is pulling the product uh, from the manufacturer by creating more and more demand so here the consumer is generating or creating demand telling the intermediaries or the channels of distribution to bring more and more product in huge quantity or this new product should be brought this is what we want next this is what we like right so tell the manufacturer to produce this by giving feedbacks by acting by responding by commenting on digital platforms right so here the consumer is trying to pull the product towards the market from the manufacturers end so push is when manufacturer is trying to push and the consumer is when the consumer is trying to pull the product right here i have tried to put some important uh, uh, features or you can say characteristics of both the strategies both push tactics used by an organization and when the scenario is of pull right when we are talking about push tactics any tactic that results in a third party stocking your products trade shows demonstrate your products or services to win new distributors sales visit to the retailers when the salesmen are sent by the manufacturer 
to the retailers asking them to stock the products that means when the distributors are being forced by the manufacturer to stock up the product and sell them in the ma uh, market to the max competitors uh, competition with the retailers to increase the sales when there is a pressure on the retailer or, or the intermediaries involved to increase the sales or enhance the sales to sell the product to the max then point of sale displays to make it easy for the retailers to stock your products then videos some kind of videos are used to demonstrate the product or the features which the product has or contains when we talk about pull tactics it uh, any tactic that results in customers demanding the product from the retailers so in pull tactics advertising is very helpful right then viral marketing when the uh, some kind of uh, product gets goes viral or some message related to the product goes viral if it's a positive message then definitely pull kind of scenario will be there in the market the uh, the in, then the consumer will demand for example if we talk about covid 19 there was a huge demand suddenly a huge demand of masks of sanitizers of disinfectant so what was this the consumer is trying to generate a demand and there was a shortage right so this was a pull kind of scenario suddenly then word of mouth this word of mouth can spread online and offline again this word of mouth can create pull kind of scenario then something when goes on viral on social media especially on facebook or instagram for example on facebook a push a strategy as when your friends like a product this can be shared with you making you aware about the products right which you actually didn't know then blogging then marketing done through emails again here through different figures i have tried to show you the flow when there is a scenario of push strategy and when there is a scenario of pull strategy when we are talking about push strategy the manufacturer promotes it to the wholesaler wholesaler promotes the product to the retailer retailer promotes it to the consumer and finally consumer buys the product from the retailer right right and when we talk about pull strategy the manufacturer the uh, wholesaler demands the product from the manufacturer then retailer demands the product from the wholesaler consumer demands the product from the retailer right so this is the pull strategy going on some of the examples which i have tried to put here in case of push and pull when we talk about push marketing pushing messages can be ignored or blocked print advertising promotional flyers can be used competitive tables brochures tv or radio commercials ads can be given on the platform of tv as well as radio then different different coupons can be given to the customers on different occasions on special purchases then sponsorship concepts can be used in push marketing when we talk about pull marketing again blogs can be used articles are very helpful speaking online learning ebooks social media interfaces twitter facebook linkedin quora podcasts all these help in generating the demand from the consumers and so that more and more demand is there from the consumer side and the manufacturer will then supply the uh, product in bulk or huge quantity as desired by the customer into the market so this is all what we discussed in today's class we discussed in detail the two strategies push and pull we discussed about the scenario the flow chart and the different examples of push and pull strategy and then we discussed about uh, the different uh, we discussed about what do we mean by imc and the five strategies of imc which are used by an organization why imc is important for an organization right what are the different elements which collectively form the integrated marketing communication we'll be discussing the uh, following topics related to promotion in the next lecture till then thank you and take care